Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and film a quick what's in my bag video because I'm going to be switching from this Fossil Fiona into my Kate Spade Spade Mini Link Tote. Uh, so I just wanted to show you uh, what's in my bag. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some liked items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So this is a Fossil Fiona Satchel. Um, I purchased it in May of 2020 for $50.32 at DSW using like a buy one get one free sale. Uh, so I have been using this bag for about a week and a half now. I try to rotate through my bags even now uh, just because it's fun so that I can kind of use all of them. So uh, just to show you what's in my bag, so the first thing is this front pocket. There's nothing in there right now. Usually I keep my phone in there, so that's why that's empty. Um, and this is just what the bag looks like right now. So I have, just starting out, I have a receipt from the post office. I went and dropped something off there, so that's just the tracking number. Um, and then I have some stamps that I picked up at the post office. I need to go put those somewhere safe. Um, and then my car keys in my uh, Gucci key case, my Gucci wallet, um, some wet ones, but these are alcohol wipes, so they do sanitize. My, uh, oh, I voted in the local election, so I got an I voted sticker. And then a uh, Goyard key case with my Swiss Army knife, as well as some keys that I definitely don't use in there. Um, a granola bar. Uh, this is because I went to go get my vaccine, and I thought I was going to have to wait for a long time. So I wanted to have a snack just in case it was, uh, you know, a long wait, but it, it wasn't, which was great. A hand sanitizer in this back slip pocket. And then an eyeglasses cleaning cloth in the other slip pocket. And the bag is basically empty, and down here I have my acrylic base shaper. Um, and then the last thing is all the catch-all items in this back zip pocket. So I have an extra mask. I have uh, some tissues. I really like Fossil, um, like the way that they do their interior organization, because this back zip pocket is always really large, which is great to be able to hold like basically all of my catch-all stuff, and I really appreciate it. Um, so some travel Advil, a moisturizing stick. These are really nice for when your hands are super dry from um, hand sanitizer or cold weather. Uh, it's just basically like a monster chapstick, so you can use it to uh, like moisturize the top of your hands. Um, a Ziploc bag of band-aids in case, you know, my shoes start rubbing. Uh, what else is in here? A little travel Vaseline, a little um, chapstick, and then a compact mirror. I believe, yep, that's it in this bag. I really do like the Fossil Fiona. At this point, I've almost had it a year. Uh, it's, it's April 2021 right now. Almost had it a year. Um, and I do always enjoy carrying it just because it is so large. Uh, I don't really have to worry about whether I'm ever going to run out of room. And also, the interior pockets make it so that I can usually find everything I need pretty easily. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I, I really do like this bag, especially for $50. I don't think you can beat it. Um, so now I'm going to pack up my uh, Kate Spade Spade Link Tote. Um, opening it up, I'm just going to remove all of the stuffing. So this bag is um, much less uh, organized than the Fossil bag because there's basically no interior organization. You have one slip pocket back here, but no like zipped pockets or anything like that. Um, so usually what I do is I use a bag organizer with this bag which is this one from Amazon. Um, but this time around, I'm gonna try to use this bag without the bag organizer because the bag organizer does take up a ton of room and make these snaps on the side kind of pop open a lot. If you've seen my, uh, I think, review or first impressions or something of this bag, that's one of the things that I uh, complain about with uh, this bag when I'm using it with the bag organizer. So I do wanna see 
if it will be annoying to use it without a bag organizer. Uh, I think it is kind of floppy, so I wonder if it'll be hard to kind of grab my stuff when I'm out and about. Um, but, you know, it'll be an experiment. <laughs> so, uh, you know, the first thing I have to put in the bag, of course, is my SLGs, so my six key holder, my Gucci wallet, and then my Gucci key case. I'll just toss them in. Um, things in here are gonna get all jumbled around anyway, so there's no point in trying to organize it. And then I have a coach wristlet here, and I'm going to put my catch-all items in here. Um, so I'm gonna put, you know, oops, travel Advil, um, the maybe a moisturizing stick, I don't think this is gonna all fit, um, lip, uh, uh, chapstick, I don't need Vaseline if I also have the chapstick, so I'm gonna leave that out. Eyeglasses cleaning cloth, definitely need an extra mask. So I'll fold that up a little bit nicer. And I think that's probably gonna be it for here. The only other thing that I have is a hand sanitizer. Um, but that, I think I will try to stick that in this slip pocket back here just so it is easy access. Um, and then maybe, let's see if my phone, will my phone? Yeah, my phone will fit in that back slip pocket, so maybe that's a better use of the back slip pocket. Um, but let's be real, I'll probably just leave both and see what happens. Um, I am a little, I don't want to put the hand sanitizer just like floating at the bottom of the bag because it could pop open and then like spill in the bag. So maybe can I put my phone vertically and they'll both fit? Uh, it, it does work. So maybe that'll work if my phone is vertical and the hand sanitizer is back there like that. But the bag is already kind of floppy. <laughs> So I think this is probably going to be a failed experiment, but I'm going to go run some errands. So I'm going to see if, like, you know, I enjoy using the bag uh, like this. Um, I guess I could keep the, uh, what is it called? The, the wet wipes in here instead. And then maybe I could put the hand sanitizer in the wristlet uh, if I take out the moisturizing stick. Maybe I can fit this all in here. Yeah, that fits. So I can go ahead and zip that up. So it doesn't totally close, which is not great. Um, maybe I just have to repack the whole thing. So those three things are now laying horizontally. So now I think everything should probably fit. I'm gonna put the mask kind of down this side. Um, I want the eyeglasses cleaning cloth to be easily accessible because the reason I carry it around right now is because when I'm wearing a mask, um, my glasses can fog up and I want to be able to wipe it off really easily. So now I have my hand sanitizer in there um, and then I'll have the wet wipes kind of more accessible if I want to quickly wash off my hands if I'm outside. So that's what it looks like. It is not the most organized and I imagine this is not gonna be the most functional. Um, so I kind of wonder how it's gonna work. Uh, we'll see. It'll be an experiment. So this bag is currently listed on my Poshmark for sale just because I don't, um, I, I thought I would enjoy having this kind of like Goyard dupe where you have the coated canvas and you have the smooth leather trim. Um, but I just haven't found it very useful and maybe it's cause I need like a, an organizer that actually fits it. This organizer is a little bit too large. So maybe if I got like a smaller, slimmer one, it would be more useful, but I'm going to take it out, uh, see if I like it, otherwise I might order an organizer or I might just continue to try to sell this bag. Uh, nobody has purchased it yet, obviously, uh, but there is still hope. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, otherwise I will see you guys next time. Bye!